My philosophy is quite plain and simple, you know, keep it simple. So I'm still an old style winemaker, you know, working with my nose, my eyes, my ears. Uh, not so much on the grape juice analysis and so on, more on tasting, you know, when to pick, uh, when to harvest, what to do. So I'm working quite a lot on instinct, but that comes with experience. We make the wine in the vineyard. I mean, you can only make good wine from good grapes. I mean, I know my vineyards. I know exactly how big every block is and how many vines are in a block, you know, and what kind of flavors I get out of every block. But that also comes with experience, you know. You must, you've got to be a long time on a, on a farm to know what you do. Yeah, we pick by hand uh, in small buns, uh, 20 kilo buns. We try to get the uh, grapes into the cellar within one hour, one hour after picking. So when the guy picks, he must put his bun in the shade and then uh, we load it on a, on, a, on a trailer, 50 buns at a time. Get it into the cellar as quickly as possible, you know, and we offload by hand. We do some sorting, hand sorting, you know. That's the way we do things. It's very hand operated, also in the cellar. Like, say, picking mellow, uh, you go into the vineyards, and when it tastes right, and it's ripe, and you feel, especially on taste, you harvest it tomorrow morning, not after the weekend. You bring it in immediately, and that's a nice thing about the estate, you know, you can do what you want. I try to make very balanced wines, you know. Alcohol is not too high, syrup is not too high. Say for instance, uh, my cabernet, I try after fermentation to let it lie on the skins for say up to 30 days to make it softer, make the tannin softer, everything. I don't use any gelatine or egg white or whatsoever, you know, on my red wines too. It's just like it is from the fermentation tank, my lactic fermentation into the barrel, into the bottle. No funny things in the wine, you know, to make it softer. You get surprises, yeah. Say one block of Sauvignon Blanc, I was identified as a B wines every year because of the soil and so on. And suddenly one year, I think it was two or three years ago, it was just something amazing. I don't know what happened. But there's a difference in the years, you know. Uh, that's why I bottle got the vintage on. So the vintage will differ all the time. So the wines can't taste the same, like Prima or Cabernet or whatever, they can't taste the same every year. So that's why I say I'm maybe still more an old style winemaker, you know. I do, don't use all these new gadgets and so on. I don't know if we make better wines than we did years ago. Winemaking is only in the grapes. The grapes are good, you handle it with care and you do handle it well, you make good wine. That's the way to do it. That's the way we do it here.